Fast radio bursts, FRBs, are short bursts of radio emissions from the sky lasting only few milliseconds. However, their origin is still unknown, perplexing astronomers for years since the discovery of the first FRB in 2007. According to various studies, these peculiar radio bursts could be a product of a supernova, two black holes colliding, a spinning neutron star, or they could be related to hyperflares of magnetars. Now, astronomers from the Nanjing University in China are offering another explanation for this puzzling question, asking if collisions of asteroids with neutron stars are producing FRBs. A paper, detailing the latest finding, CO authored by Yang Feng Huang and Jinjun Gang, was published online in the AR14 journal on December 21. The authors of the paper, using the data from about 10 FRBs, obtained key parameters that could help solve the mystery of these radio bursts. FRBs were generally discovered through single pulse search methods by using archived data of wide field pulsar surveys at the multi-beam 64-meter Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia and the 305-meter Arecibo Telescope, located in Puerto Rico. FRBs are usually detected by large radio telescopes at 1.4 GHz. These events are of extremely short duration, typically lasting for less than a few milliseconds, but are detected with high intensity. The researchers noted that there are four main stages of detecting fast radio bursts. First, the radio telescopes are uniformly pointing toward the sky at the time of the detections. Second, for the multi-beam receiver system, usually the signal was recorded only in very few beams, typically less than four, especially by adjacent beams. Third, FRBs are characterized by large dispersion measure, DM, values, significantly larger than terrestrial sources of interference. Fourth, the observed behaviors of time delay and frequency evolution of FRBs strongly indicate that cold plasma dispersion should have been engraved in the radio signal, the scientists wrote in the paper. The astronomers noted also that FRBs cannot be quickly followed up to catch the counterparts in other wavelengths, as they are generally screened out from archive data, as was done by Huang and Geng in their latest research. Thus, the absence of counterparts poses great difficulties in understanding the true nature of FRBs.